Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder, and in this one I'm going to show you how to solve Catch the Coin, or question A from Educational Code Forces round 167 rated for Division 2. So Monocar visited a retro arcade club with arcade cabinets. He got curious about the Catch the Coin cabinet. The game is pretty simple. The screen represents a coordinate grid such that the x-axis is directed from left to right, and the y-axis is directed from bottom to top. The center of the screen has coordinates of 0, 0. At the beginning of the game, the character is located in the center, and n coins appear on the screen. The ith coin is at coordinates xi and yi. The coordinates of all coins are different and not equal to 0, 0. In one second, Monocarp can move the character in one of eight directions, and if the character is at coordinates x, y, it can go in any of the four northeast, southwest, and also any of the diagonals. And if the character ends up at the coordinates with a coin, then Monocarp collects the coin. And after Monocarp makes a move, all coins fall down by one. That is, they move from x, x, y to x, y minus one. And you can assume that the game field is infinite in all directions. Monocarp wants to collect at least one coin, but cannot decide which coin to go for. Help him determine for each coin whether he can collect it. So you have n, the number of coins, and then each of the n lines contains two integers, x and y. And af after you think about it a little, then you realize that the n, the number of coins, is in other words, just like number of test cases. Even though they're all different, it's still the same way of solving it for each one. So for example, 24 and 42, you you can always get it, and then for the second one, well, you'll you'll be able to get it because the, it it the thing is the, the coins can only go down, so, and since you can go diagonal the same amount as you can go down and then you can go right, so you can consider the x axis and the y axis separate, and the truth is the x axis doesn't matter because you can keep going diagonal keep going down as well as going in the direction you need to go for the x-axis. Whereas the y-axis, since you can only move by one, so it, it might not be possible if the y-axis is too far down. And then if you observe this a little bit, you realize that this negative one, even though y is negative one, so you might think it's impossible, but it actually is possible since Monocarp moves. And then if the coin isn't collected, then the coin falls down. So that means that it 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 can be negative one the y axis and and you can still get it but if it's negative two or or less like negative two negative fifty then it's impossible but if it's otherwise like zero negative one forty two these are these will all work so it's a very simple implementation so it's just if y is less than negative one then you print no otherwise you just print yes. So yeah, that's how you solve Catch the Coin, question A from Educational Code Forces, round 167, rated for Division 2. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.